companies can cut their costs in half by optimising their supply chain. That means reducing overstocking and unnecessary waiting times and forecasting demand more accurately. It also involves a mindset change among staff, something supply chain optimisation experts Oliver White knows all about. Sarah Lockett reports. Quality Furniture Company factory in Grantham in Lincolnshire. They make several thousand sofas a week using fabric from China, timber from Estonia and Latvia and covers cut and sewn in Lithuania. But it wasn't always like this. They've turned their fortunes around by working with consultants Oliver White. I couldn't recommend them more highly. Um, I honestly think that without the input of Oliver White to our business I'm not sure that we would have survived. Um, our industry has halved in size in the last 10 years in the face of import competition from China and Eastern Europe. Only the very fit, the very lean and um, the very operationally excellent companies have survived that and I think without them we simply wouldn't be here now. Supply chain optimization here at the Quality Furniture Company means that although it takes them 15 weeks to make each sofa or armchair from scratch, the lead time for the customer is only 7 to 10 days from ordering, and that is their USP that marks them out from the competition importing from the Far East. Chief Executive Vernon Goldberg says this has been achieved through integrated business planning or management, known as IBP or IBM, realising they needed dedicated demand and supply managers and other changes. There is a way of doing it without holding masses of stock. And that's what the IBM process, which we learned from Oliver White, has enabled us to do. So it's working with suppliers um, and taking costs out of the supply chain. And it's only through planning and particularly in forecasting, which is right at the core of our business, which is something we never used to do before we met the Oliver White concept. Today what we're going to do is talk about maturity. Oliver White consultants, who all have industry experience, give a training session. The company pioneered their methods and processes over 40 years ago, which are now used throughout the world. What we bring uniquely to that is the people aspect of those processes. So integrated business planning, supply chain optimization, these are the key areas that people are coming to us and saying, how does this really work? Right? We go, well, it's actually quite straightforward. It's not simple, but it's quite straightforward. And then we help them to understand the paradigms that they have to remove in order to gain that success. If you have a supply chain with seven points in it, you multiply the waste by seven if you're buffering at every point and, and every buffer costs money. Now, of course, some of them are necessary, but not all of them. And I think often people focus on the, the wrong thing in the wrong place. So they're not able to really streamline and optimize across the end-to-end -end picture. And, and the learning that you, you get from, from tracking all, all your well. actions and issues, yeah. um, it, it's a fantastic learning document to be yeah. shared with other people. Anne-Marie takes a meeting with another client from industrial ink manufacturer Axo Nobel, who've saved a million pounds in nine months, 10% on supply chain and 25% on inventory costs. They've now won an Oliver White Class A Planning and Control Award. They made a big difference. The factory is um, a lot more productive. The service levels really good now. The customers are getting the product when they want the product. The biggest difference for us was with the Olive White people, you've got to do the work yourself, which means it's more likely to be sustainable. If you get other consultants in, they like to come along, do the job for you, um, fix it, but then when they leave, it goes back to how it was. As work continues in Grantham, the recent horse meat scandal has highlighted how every stage of the supply chain must be tightly controlled, and it's essential to have the right people with the right skills in the right jobs.